How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually talk to you all about the state text and how it will affect the way that you set up your programming uh, and why it is important that you match state texts from one logic block to another. Uh, within CCT, you will not be able to make a connection with some points if those state texts do not line up perfectly. Now, I just want to give you an example. What I'm going to do is simply go into a logic block in this program here. Uh, just to give you a quick overview, this program here, we actually have a low temp safety alarm. Uh, it is making a hardware input and what uh, it will do is once that low temp safety is made, uh, what it will do is I want it to shut off the fan command. Okay, so the first thing that we will do, of course, is go into our logic block, and you can see that it, there is really nothing in here, uh, but we're going to have to build a little bit of logic. And the first thing is, of course, adding our activity input. And what I want to add is an enumerated input. So I'm just going to grab an enumerated input, and I'm going to bring it into this uh, particular device into this particular logic block and you can see it here uh, that we have now created an input uh, for this and I just to give you a little bit better understanding I'm also going to pull over a boolean input block okay some of you guys may not uh, know the difference between these two uh, but I'm going to show you uh, why there will be uh, instances where you will use enumerated and when there will be instances why you will use a boolean Okay, now we have both of these blocks connected. What we need to do is connect them to our low temp alarm input. So let's see what happens when I try to connect the Boolean input. I'm going to right click, make a connection, and it's going to bring my pop-up window here. And you can see there is no point that will match the state text within uh, this device, within CCT. Uh, I cannot match that low temp alarm. I can match some airflow, static determination, things like that. Things that are going to match this type of an input. So let's cancel out of there and let's just dive into it just a little further. You can see here, uh, this is basically a on or off type of point. Uh, true or false, that sort of thing. That's all this point is. And I cannot make the connections that I'm going to need using a Boolean point. So I am just going to get rid of that. Okay, it's going to ask me if I want to delete it. Of course I do. But we need to go just a little bit deeper. Even on the enumerated, okay, this is my enumerated point here. When I right click it, and I go to make connection. I want you to see again, I do not have that low temp alarm available here. Okay, I can't see it. I can't see that input. So let's cancel out of it. Let's go look at our low temp alarm and see exactly what the state text for it is. So I'm just going to double click into it and you will see here the state text is normal and alarm okay i cannot change that that's how this one was configured it's how it was set up originally it cannot be changed so then if i go into my back into my logic block uh which what i did is to be able to get to that logic block if you want to save yourself a little trouble if you're trying to dig through you can simply go into the output that it is controlling and select show involvement and right here it is okay so I'm going to view logic I am going to now uh, as I mentioned earlier I'm going to double click into this this is my particular input and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change the state text I'm just going to hit in just to make it a little quicker and I'm going to change it to where it will match what I had previously, where it says normal alarm. I'm going to hit apply. And then once it has applied, I will close this out. And again, guys, let's go in here. Here is our connection. I'm going to right click, make connection. And now you can see 
that it is matching my low temp alarm so i can make that connection using the enumerated input but guys i hope this gives you just a little bit better understanding of how enumerated inputs work uh, again you have to uh, match those uh, depending on the input that you are trying to acquire uh, there are some other ways of translating it that we'll talk about in future videos. Anyways, guys, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Be sure to check out all the links down below. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.